Boom! Hello guys, Jin right here. It's been a while. I know. Oh my god, I am. I'm having a terrible, terrible week myself. I mean, I got a lot of works to do. Uh, not to mention, I actually caught a cold. I got a flu. So I cannot really do a lot of things except just online uh, play a bit. You know, basically online login play a bit. Not even look at it. I know there are new contents, you know, including raid, you know, express uh, special raid. I actually want to make this news as soon as possible, but I had a cold, I can never talk well. So uh, now I feel better, then uh, that's why I want to do a little bit state of Brave Frontier affair and uh, any other affair, including America. Nah, I'm kidding. That one is uh, leave for the country and I cannot do anything about it. Although I do look at how they keep talking and yapping with these two candidates. Just don't know what they are doing. Anyway, let me just start with the first one. Now, we are talking a lot here. There are a lot that we can see is anniversary. Unfortunately, in my tab right here, and I want to take this issue again with, uh, uh, you know, uh, Gumi. You guys haven't really fixed this thing yet, come on. I can only see it halfway before it got cut here. I know it is nothing to be afraid. Uh, well, I mean, in Android you will see it well, and in iPhone you will see it well, but in iPad you cannot. Like, you, you guys need to fix this a little bit. Come on, just a little bit of power of this, just fix it. I, I was on the real news, I cannot find anything that is concrete. I have to go to the website instead. Well, it's not bad, but again, it's already here. I can't read all of it. Anyway, uh, let me just start to talk about the pace of um, Brave Frontier Anniversary. We have four pace. A lot. Quite a lot for a third year anniversary. First one is the login one. Uh, so, uh, let me just... Yeah, I think this one. I can at least look at the first way. So the third anniversary login campaign will start from uh, 21st of October. By the time of my video release, probably this is already on the second or third day. But yeah, it will run out till November 30. Uh, uh, so basically, you have 40 days to log in for 30 different uh, um, rewards for each login. It's not 40 days. But it's 30 days reward so but the campaign run for 40 days so you can actually miss around 10 days in between you unlock Xenia alternative art it's already been there in the teaser so uh, after a few after 15 days 16 days you'll get it uh, I'll put out that image right there you can see the list of the reward you will get Another thing that will be, uh, you'll get a free unit of your choice. Oh yes, free unit of your choice. Uh, hmm. You should choose, uh, and they will distribute it later on. Uh, the unit choice will be up to Kalon and Molor. So any single old units that you have, up to Kalon and Molor release. That includes Azurai the overall Azurai. So for those that really felt that the Colosseum is being overpowered by too many Casher players, maybe you guys too upset with the Casher players, but don't be too upset with them because they deserve it. I mean, they they actually help, you know, help keep this company afloat. Yeah, that's the one, uh, the, the Azurai. So you can choose it for free if you want, but for me, I probably will take Stain. I like Stain, I don't have Azurai by the way, and I still felt that Azurai is probably too overpowered in the Colosseum era, you know, part. Especially if they be put together with those spears that can be found by those level 99. <laughs> They're just too strong at that point. Anyway, the Soul Training Ground, this is the part where, you know, you should really auto a lot here auto a lot here it's half energy and two times experience with guilt experience and i hope you guys have a good guild increase your tower level to the point it's a 50 percent or above 
you guys will get a lot of experience here probably around 40,000 or so maybe ma maybe more I don't know but it should be that much for you guys to actually run it for every one time it's half energy and it's twice the, the experience so this is good and it's run for a week so basically maybe just maybe during that week you will do nothing but just this for uh, for your energy using you know and a uh, November special exchange hall and guild exchange hall starting on uh, 20 uh, sorry October 29 and that's what, what the hell is this and October 24 okay this is confusing me it's starting on October 29 what? What? I think I think they should really change a little bit of this part. I believe it should start probably on 24 and end it on 29. I don't know, but hell, when it happens, guys, it just happen. But un until that day, I still have no idea why they wrote this thing. Okay? <laughs> no. And a special Halloween event is start on October 27th. Okay, the exchange hall is on October 29th. Okay, I uh, still don't get it. Whoever that can clarify for me, please comment on my YouTube channel. Please help me talk about this. I still don't get it. No. Nope. Alright, now phase number two because, yeah, as you guys can see, it's stopped halfway. But anyway, I'll just talk about phase number two. Phase number two, we get daily milestones reward update and level up campaign. Uh, this is uh, this. Um, this is probably for level 400 and so, level 400 and level 500, that's the one. Uh, you guys know the the one on the achievement store, that, that should be the one they are talking about. Anniversary Brave Buddy campaign, this is for attracting new players, if you have your friend, you know, this, this is actually good, go for it. Uh, video slot machines will get better price this time, so uh, maybe more than uh, uh, just a gem, maybe maybe better price than usual I don't know but we'll see on November 2nd all right I will stop my video up here for this part okay I'll change it to my uh, slides for you let me just change it I'll change it for the slides of images slides of image 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 and we are starting now now on the slide of image, the third one, the phase number three is reopen a class six. Okay, class six, uh, you can go to every single boss that you want. Maybe that's actually good if you go for it. Um, it's from November seven to November eleven. I, if you guys still remember that uh, multiple boss, multiple raid bosses, uh, it's good for finding a lot of materials on the spot. And then I'll give chance, the Forbidden Tablet is back, uh, it's on the November 12th to 15th, so you probably only have about 4 days. Yeah, not bad, 4 days. I hope it's on the half energy though, because if not, then probably you will waste a lot of energy for that. 100. Make sure it, uh, hopefully, you know, it pays off, I don't know. And a uh, guild 2 times experience, uh, this is for a uh, guild that is still trying their best to level up as high as possible. Including mine, I guess. Mine is around uh, already probably like 102. It's good enough I, for now, I guess. But maybe I don't know. Probably higher is better. Definitely higher is better. So I can have 50 members. Okay, now number four is the reopening of Unholy Tower. Xenon Estia. Okay, guys, I want to say this. About two years ago, this is a one of the very first exclusive content for Brave Frontier. So for those players that haven't seen this before, this is one of the very annoying tower for us at that time. But right now, I don't see any problem for you to go through. So for you guys that actually first time going through it, or probably already gone through that one before and just want the revenge, this is your chance, go for it. As for me, it's the Gilnia. Reopen Gil Keymaster Eclipse for Gilnia. Now that's the one that I want to go. I really want to go that one because I have 
I have gone three times for that event I, I never found Key Master Gilnia and that is the only Vortex unit in this game that I never ever find. I never find a guy. I don't know why but I never find a guy man that this sucks. I played for three years now, I haven't found him. And if you guys want to proof, let me show you. Give me a moment. I want to take a little bit of a break here. Just a moment. Oi! Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. I need to take a little bit break. My uh, my cold doesn't feel very well after that last record. So um, now let me just talk a little bit more. Just a little bit more, guys, and I'll finish. Nothing much to really add at this point. Um, so at this part where I was talking about it was about the Kimasa Gilnia and how long it has been yes it has been about two years or so I haven't found him and I will show you how long I play this game okay there are only a few players that actually can top me at this point there not much can top me at this point I have already logged in this game for about 1031 days not a lot of players can top this. There are only probably about 500 or 700 players, if they still playing, that could actually top me. Maybe a thousand, I don't know. But I was one of the very first to actually play the game. I played this game about two to three weeks after its release. So yeah, I know exactly how everything has gone up and down. So yeah. And that's the reason why I won that Key Master Gilnia. Even though that that unit is not, it's actually nothing, you know, it's nothing. But it's nothing but collection. But I haven't found him, and that's the only unit. That's the only unit from all the Vortex unit that is available, exclusive or not. That's the one that I never ever get a chance to find. <sighs> then he never dropped to me. And yes, he has a very pretty terrible drop rate. So guys, you know, uh, if you fail, you know, if you're lucky, you get him. But if you're not lucky, it's not there. Well, that's what happened. Uh, even though at this point of the game, it's very easy to, you know, clear it. But again, I want that unit. And uh, Global Brave Frontier give me a chance to actually have a week to capture him. One week. He's only a 5 star guy, so do not expect too much, he's not so much special, he is special for me because I never found him, that's all. That's all. Another thing that I want to talk before I want to finish up my video is about the brave points. Uh, recently, about 2 weeks ago, I think about a week, I think about a week, brave points has been updated to 30,000 points. Nothing much to say guys, it's just 4,000 increase. And the last one was at 26,000 and it will probably last for about already a year I think no I don't know but anyway uh, I already play for a long time and I really keep you know keep doing it even though I have been not very actively uh, clearing all the three tags and then get the bonus points sometimes I only do two tags and that's it but still even with that I already have 51,000 or so yeah, 51,830. That's a lot. And it just show you how long I've been playing. <laughs> and uh, basically, you can you can count it how long that you know this this uh, break points has been around. I think almost two years or I don't know. Probably yeah, almost two years or two years or more. Yeah, it has been up for a long time, and uh, we already upgraded up to 30,000 points. For new players, of course, if you actually first starting it. Uh, just uh, cut it to the chase. To reach 30,000, you need to actively doing this task, doing this task for around 423 days, 24 days, I guess. I don't know. The calculation should not be far off because it's 70 if you clean up everything. So 28,000 is 400 days, and then you have 2,000 point left, and that will take you probably around. 25 days, 26 days, yeah around that before it reached, you know, 2000 points, around that. No, actually it should be 28 days, I think, 28 or 29. Anyway, 
around that and uh, you will finish it now the level up campaign as you guys probably able to see from the image you guys um, uh, already know that we already at uh, level 400 so the November one should uh, raise it up to 500 I guess you get that achievement from here so yeah these are the things that I haven't taken yet uh, up to 400 currently they will go up uh, higher to 500 600 and hopefully uh, well 600 already there from directly from the in-game Japan so I think they will only do it until level 500. That's my thing. Okay, guys, this is it. This is the end. I do not have any more contents. The state of uh, current Brave Frontier affair is up to the anniversary. There will be more to come for sure. Um, more changes will definitely come. We are, I'm still waiting for the guild. You know, the guild creation maybe something much better than before guild war i don't know when it will happen but yeah there's a lot of big contests coming up but for now let's just enjoy this uh this anniversary don't forget to choose your unit of choice i will choose stain very soon maybe you guys uh, my recommendation maybe yeah that stain that's my recommendation i choose stain because i don't have him i already have the rest but if you want a unit that actually stand out for a lot of content, stay. If you only want a unit that is so powerful and most likely you will only put him in Frontier Hunter or uh, Raid maybe. But in most cases, Azurai is a Colosseum, per, uh, Colosseum unit and maybe too broken for that Colosseum. Well, what do I know? Let it run, of course. Well, that's all, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully, I can uh, put up some raid content. You know, the global raid content. Bye bye.